In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a darker match effect using darker matches. Choose the Select Effect menu. Choose Darker Matches. After I've done this, several things happen. First, the controls appear over in the left-hand control bar area. The second, on my Effects Layers palette, a new effect called Darkroom Edges appears above my photo. The other thing that you can see that happens is a default edge effect is applied to my image on the desktop. To change the default edge effect, just simply go over to the Select Edge button, click on it, and a catalog of effects appear showing you the various edges that you can choose from. In this case, I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, the edge has been applied to the photo on the desktop. So the process is very simple, loading up and selecting various edges. If you'd like to see a different one applied, simply click, scroll, select, and load up the edge you're looking for. All right, let's work with this particular darkroom effect. One of the things I'd like to show you is you can use the border width control to slightly add a black or colored effect along the edge. This control works especially well with the inner softness slider. I'm going to adjust this. You can see what it does is it blurs the border into the photo and into the edge itself. I'm going to go up a little bit on my setting. You can see a nice gradual blend. It's possible to soften the edge itself and this will blur it. You can also feather the edge and that's going to ghost the edge out. You can also adjust the overall opacity of the effect. We have some roughen features which basically allow you to go in and distort, roughen the edge itself. In this case I'm going to select none. Let's try changing the border color. I'm going to click on the color chip. I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose a warm gray. I'm going to click OK. A handy feature is if you want to choose to view the background with a different color, you can quickly go in and choose underneath the view menu to view white, black, or you can even select a color to view in the background. Now this doesn't actually apply to the pixels in the image so that when you apply this back into Photoshop or you save it, you're still going to have transparency around it. If you want to apply a color to the background, we would do that utilizing the background color tab, or we can utilize the mood and in some cases the lighting to actually change the background color behind the effect. That's how you apply a darkroom edge utilizing photographic edges.